Now, many people think that stalking only happens to celebrities or those in the public eye, but that's not actually the case. New figures show that cases of stalking in London almost doubled in the last year. 1,197 crimes were recorded in 2017. Compare that with 622 in 2016. So serious is the problem that the Met Police have announced a new stalking threat assessment centre aimed at helping both stalker and victim. Olivia Kingsley reports. It is perhaps only victims of stalking like Claire Waxman who can truly understand the terror it inflicts on someone's life. She was harassed for more than a decade. It really is a crime of psychological terror. Um, victims feel very much threatened on a daily basis, uh, very scared even in their own home, depression, uh, can't sleep. Um, and if that goes on for years and years, um, that is very, very difficult to live with. Often even multiple prison sentences don't stop stalkers reoffending, and the police inspector at HMIC said recently that crimes are often missed or misunderstood. At the new centre opening in London later this year, police, mental health specialists and victim groups will work together to stop the cycle. Do you accept that in the past the police maybe haven't been getting it right, haven't been listening to victims enough? Um, I think that mistakes probably have been made. I think where they have been made, I think we've publicly acknowledged that as well. Um, I mean, but it's for those kind of cases, that's why we're doing this. Forensic psychiatrist Dr Frank Farnham is on the team. There are some dangerous individuals who need to go to prison, that's clear. But our current approaches are not working well in terms of preventing reoffending. And of those individuals where there is some concern about uh, their, their mental state, those of us in health will be able to, at a very early stage, uh, signpost the right, uh, the right services for them. As London's first Victims Commissioner, Claire now works to support victims of crime and is confident this new approach will work. I've often felt over the years and have campaigned a long time for this that this was the missing piece. You know, we'd see the perpetrator come out and reoffend again and again because we weren't dealing with the underlying behaviours. So if there's an opportunity now where we work with health and bring that together and deal with the underlying behaviours, we might have a good chance of stopping the behaviour, stopping the impact on the victim. If the cycle's broken early, it can prevent years of trauma. Olivia Kinsley, ITV News.